The recent report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change gives the most powerful statement so far that humans are causing global warming. And one of its lead authors works in this building, just off the University of Washington campus. It is very likely that anthropogenic, it means human-caused, greenhouse gas increases caused most of the observed increase in globally average temperatures since the mid-20th century. So very likely that humans caused the warming since about 1950. UW researcher Philip Mote helped write those words. They caused some dispute, though, among those who thought the report should have more definitely blamed humans. Mote, though, stands by his work. Yeah, I think, I think that was a, a fair assessment of the studies to date. Mote studies climate change in the Northwest with the UW Climate Impacts Group, so he's an expert on the effects of global warming in this area. One of the most important consequences is a, a reduction in snowpack. Um, much of the snow in the Cascade Mountains falls at temperatures fairly close to freezing, so a little bit of warming uh, really switches uh, the precipitation from snow to rain, uh, importantly, which increases the risk of winter flooding and at the same time uh, provides less storage of water for summer use. Al Gore is pretty much the poster boy for global warming, but Moat says some of the alarming images in his documentary An Inconvenient Truth aren't necessarily accurate. Well, most of the science in An Inconvenient Truth is pretty good. Um, a few exceptions. Uh, number one, uh, of all the glaciers in the world to pick, the ones on Kilimanjaro are not melting because of global warming. They're unquestionably melting, but it has nothing to do with rising greenhouse gases. Gore's movie also highlights the disappearing habitat of polar bears. I'm not an expert on polar bears, but from what I've read, um, they're not having trouble finding ice in a giant ice-free Arctic, as the animation suggested. Uh, in fact, as I understand it, only uh, one or, or maybe two populations of polar bears are exhibiting um, serious signs of decline. In, in Moat also says the oceans won't overtake our cities anytime soon, but this doesn't mean global warming isn't an urgent problem. It takes a mile to stop a, you know, a really large vessel or a, or a freight train. And, and that's sort of we, where we are with the climate system. You know, the minute that we stabilize greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we will still have another probably degree or two of global warming that will continue beyond that as the climate system catches up. And then the ocean will continue absorbing heat and expanding for centuries after that. Moat's bottom line, even though we won't be underwater tomorrow, the sooner we control carbon emissions, the better. Reporting from the University of Washington, I'm Marissa McQuilkin for the Daily Videocast.